Hello everyone, these grave robber pudding cups are easy to make and fun to eat. Let's see what's cooking, let's get the facts. Let's see what's cooking, it's time for yo yo max 12. Now to make the bodies in the graves, I decided to use candy melts and I used these, the skeleton mold as well as this mold which has skeleton heads skulls and it had little gravestones as well these need to be filled with chocolate or with candy melts candy melts are meltable little wafers that come in a whole bunch of different colors i'll put some information in the description box about them if you're curious about them and when you make your mold you need to start with the bottom details first in this case i wanted the skull eyes and nose to look empty so i put a little bit of black candy melt and then you let that harden completely before you add your next layer of color. In this case, I used white candy melts and I also used lime green candy melts as well. So I melt them at 50% power in the microwave, put them in a Ziploc bag, cut the corner off and then fill up the mold. Then you gently tap the mold several times and the candy melts will smooth out and fill in, to, fill in all the cracks in the mold and any bubbles that it might be in there might come to the surface as well. And I did the same thing with the little skeleton bones. You put these in the refrigerator, let them harden completely, and if they're sufficiently chilled, they will pop right out of the mold without any problems at all, and you'll have a nice shiny surface to your candies. I purchased these molds and the candy melts at our local bulk barn, which is a Canadian bulk food franchise, but they can also be purchased at craft stores like Michael's, Hobby Lobby, or even online if you take a look. I've seen them on eBay as well as the Wilton website and even on Amazon as well. I decided to make some flowers to put on the grave and in order to make them edible, I used some candy melts for this as well. So I made some little green stems with some melted green candy melts. And the flowers, I use some red candy melts, but of course you can make them any shape, any size, any color, that's up to you. Or if you can find some other kinds of edible flowers, you can also use those as well. Put those in the refrigerator and let them harden. Now for the gravestones, you have a couple of different options. I'm using a Graham wafer cookie. You can use any kind of flat cookie for this that you want. And I'm using a pair of kitchen scissors that I reserve uh, just to cook with, to cut food with basically, that's all I use them for. You can use a knife to cut out your cookie as well. And once I had the gravestone shape, I use a little bit of black frosting to draw out the rest in peace, the RIP. Now when I'm doing just small projects like this, I don't make a big batch of frosting. I just use the commercially made black frosting that comes in a tube. And what's great about them is when you have a coupler, it just you can just put on the piping tip right onto the tube. Works great. Now for the actual soil, I'm using pudding and I'm using a basic instant pudding mix, which is milk and the contents of the package. You can use your own pudding recipe for this as well. And then I poured it into some plastic cups. I actually bought these. They were sold as wine goblets at the dollar store. I think I paid, I think it was $2 for 50 of them or something like that. They were very relatively inexpensive. And what's nice about them is they're cheap, they're clear, you can see through them as well, and they're just the perfect size. Now we have to add our bodies into our soil. Now, if you don't have the candy melt bones, you can use some candy bones if you can look around to see what you have available locally. And you can leave them right on the surface or in this case i thought it'd be cute if you could push them into the soil and that way when people eat the pudding they're all going to find them they're going to find the bones now my initial vision for this was i thought if i put that skull into the pudding against the plastic of the cup you'd be able to see the skull looking out at you but it didn't quite work out that way and i guess i shouldn't be surprised i guess you just couldn't really see it very well but i found that if you took some of those candy melt bones that i made and you put the flat side of the bone against the side of the plastic cup and then just pushed it in, you could see them through the cup. So the final result was you had, did end up with some pudding and with some of the bones that were visible through the plastic, which is kind of cool. Now to complete this, 
We're gonna add some freshly dug grave soil on the top, which are Oreo cookie crumbs. You could also use Graham wafer crumbs for these as well, but I think I like the dark color better. You can buy Oreo cookie crumbs here in a box, or you can make your own by crushing up some cookies. Now press in your gravestone cookie, and then you can decorate as desired. In this case, I'm putting a little bunch of flowers on the grave. And I also made a chocolate candy melt headstone. You can use that as well. And for this one, I just decided to sprinkle some bones loosely and then add a little bunch of flowers. And the one on the left, you can see the lime green colored bones showing through the side of the glass. And for this one, I decided to put a skeleton kind of coming out of the ground. So I put the skull and I just pressed in a few of those white bones and sprinkled some on the top as well to make it look like a disturbed grave. Now to eat these, it's simple. You can eat the decorations first, then you can give people a spoon to eat with, or an alternative is they could just use the gravestone as a scoop, and they can just scoop out the pudding that way as well. Now, as you're eating these, you will begin to notice the emergence of a body. And so as you eat and dig into the, the grave, you'll start to find some bones. And here is a hand. Now, of course, this is only suitable for older children. You wouldn't want to give this to anyone under the age of three because these things in that pudding are a choking hazard, of course. So this would be only suitable for some older kids. And make sure you tell them, hey, when you're digging around for bodies, you're going to find some bones, so be careful. And there are the completed cups. You can decorate these any way you want. Why don't you tell me which one you like the best? These were fun to make and delicious to eat. Thanks for watching. Are you looking for a Halloween treat that is super easy to make and super quick to do and has huge gross out factor? How about the, this used cotton swab and used band-aids video? Go ahead and click right on your screen or see the link in the description box if you want to see how these are made. Bye-bye.